In contrast to false metaphysical constructs, true metaphysics engenders true theology and ethics. We have already cited one example of a true metaphysical pyramid. Gender and sexuality are essential and eternal. There are many more examples, for supporting every true theology or doctrine is a true metaphysical foundation. We will cite one more to establish the point. Biogenesis is the belief that life only comes from life. The law of biogenesis is attributed to Louis Pasteur. It is the opposite of abiogenesis, which is the belief that life arose from non-living matter and did not involve reproduction. Evolution relies on abiogenesis for the origin of life. While there are many competing theories as to how life arose through abiogenesis, science has yet to adequately explain this so-called natural process. Creationism or intelligent design is a form of abiogenesis. Life did not arise from previous life through reproduction, nor was it created out of non-living matter. It was created out of nothing through a supernatural act of a creator God. As we noted in another series, Eternalism, the current leadership of the church teaches a creationist doctrine pertaining to the origin of life. Joseph Smith, on the other hand, taught that man and life in general is always a product of natural reproduction. Trees beget trees, fish beget fish, protozoa beget protozoa, and man begets man. He also claimed that the Bible was full of the doctrine of biogenesis. In other words, he taught that biogenesis is the true metaphysics of life. The metaphysics of biogenesis changes the whole theological perspective of the gospel of Jesus Christ. Man's nature is no longer what God designed it to be within a creationist framework, nor is it the byproduct of random physical processes under the theory of organic evolution. Man is now the literal offspring of God with all its implications. The Church proclaims that each man and woman is a literal spirit offspring of a heavenly father and a heavenly mother. In making this claim, the Church makes the connection that the divine nature and destiny of man comes directly from his divine parentage. As Joseph Smith might put it, trees beget trees and gods beget gods. Yet at the same time, the Church makes no such claim for man's physical body. This is an inconsistent theology. If divine nature comes from divine parentage for the spirit body, then the principle must also hold for the physical body. Ethical standards are inextricably bound to this logic. God does not give us artificial standards of conduct merely to test us. He gives us a moral code that allows us to fully realize our divine potential. It is the set of laws he observes that enables him to be God. As Joseph Smith explained, the gospel of Jesus Christ along with its commandments is how all gods became gods and is the path which all men must also follow to be gods themselves. The metaphysical pyramid for biogenesis looks like this. The Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints faces a death sentence. Our religion, like any other religion, must be founded on objective truth or suffer a lingering death. 
Unfortunately, the church either no longer cares about objective reality or doesn't understand its relationship to theology and the moral order. It flippantly leaves the field of battle to science, claiming that the spiritual realm is unconnected to the physical realm. But geology, biology, archaeology, and anthropology have everything to do with the salvation of the souls of mankind. The false metaphysics promulgated by these scientific disciplines lead to false theologies and pernicious ethical systems. The Church can no longer allow science, as it is currently practiced, taught in our Church educational system. Nor can it continue to allow science to be the measuring stick for gospel verity. It must be the reverse. The iron rod is not science, but the Word of God. In the end, the church must follow the admonition of Paul to Timothy.